Hello. In this video, we are going to answer this has one too. Now, this question is, is very similar to the type of problems where I just inspect it for a specific element. But in this situation, I have to find a one first and then find a two. So I can write a pretty straightforward algorithm. What's happened there? There we go. I can write a pretty straightforward algorithm just to search for one and search for two. And I can do it like this int i equals zero i is less than nums dot length i is equal to i plus one and i say if nums at i is equivalent to one return true if nums at i is equivalent to two return true otherwise return false and this is a pretty straight algorithm just basically this is searching the array looking for a one to return true or a two to return true which works fine but the problem is, is I have to find a 1 and then find a 2. So one way to solve this is to introduce a flag. Um, and a flag could be a, it can be any type of variable. It just I need to introduce a variable to say I found a 1. So here, I don't want to return true. I want to just basically change my variable to say, yep, a 1 has been found. So I'm going to make a Boolean called has 1. And I'm going to set it equal to false. And then all I do here is I just say has one is equivalent to true. So basically, when I run my loop, as soon as I find a one, I set has one to true. And now I'm only going to return true if nums at i is two and has one is equivalent to true. So this is a nice little twist because what it's doing is that idea of searching for an element, but I have to introduce a variable to remember that I found the one and then I can look for the two. And hopefully, oh, we got an error. Line eight, let's take a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, two equal signs. In theory, that should work perfectly. I hope that helped. Have a wonderful day.